Hello and um, welcome to Into Church. So today we are going to be teaching you how to attempt the WIAC pass questions on log reading with your calculator, especially for the OBJ. Now, may I let you know if you understand this, it's going to save you a whole lot of time in the exam hall. So you are going to be solving them and getting your answers. Now, before I continue, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so that you can know when we will release these videos. Now, we will be releasing videos on how to use calculator to solve sort, logarithm, indices, trigonometry, statistics, and so on. So, please click the subscribe button and like and share this video with your friends. Now, the first thing you need to do is press the shift button, click the mode, and just like in our sort, press the number one button and select one for math output. Okay, now we're ready to go. So, the question said, it says um, log... 6, you close the bracket, minus, this will be 3 times log 3, close the bracket again, then put your plus, now notice it says 2 over 3, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to involve a fraction, so this will be fraction, 2, I'll press my down arrow key, and put my 3, I'll push, push my um, arrow out, and put, close my bracket, then this will now be log 27. I'll close my bracket. Now, once I press equal to, it will drop my answer. So it's telling me that my answer is 0 0.3010. So now you know that your answer is going to be 0 0.3010. We need to now test our options to know which one will give us that answer. So let's say 2 log 3. No, that's not our answer. Let's check B, log 3, log 3. No, that's not our answer. Let's check log 2, log 2. Okay, correct. So, log 2 is the one that coincides with the answer it gave us before. So, now, it shows that our final answer here is going to be what? C. So, our circle my C. So, you can do this very, very fast. Now, that will take us to the second question. Okay, so question, the second question says, if log x2 is equal to 0 0.3, evaluate log x8. Okay, so um, for us to solve it, let's get um, our x. Once we can find our x, then we can evaluate what log x8. Okay, so let's solve. So what I will do, this would be um, log... Okay, so now I, um, I will change here to x. So for me to put my x, I'll press my alpha and press here as what? x. Okay, I'll push my arrow and put here as 2. I'll push my arrow out and press alpha. Please don't press this equal to press alpha and equal to. So this will be 0 0.3. Now, the first thing we need to do here is to solve for x. So I'll press shift and press solve. So, it will tell me, do you want this to solve for x? Now, this minus 0 0.6 you're seeing here is an initial value of x I solve. So, don't bother about that. Press equal to. Now, it's solving the question. And let's see whether it's going to get it. Okay, good. It's telling us that our x is 10.07. Okay, so, now we know our x is 10.07. Um, what we will now do is we will now evaluate log 10.078. So let's now say um, log, okay, sorry, that's log 10.07 shift 8. So that will give us our final answer as 0 0.9. So that means number 25, our final answer here is going to be B. So I will mark my B and circle it. Okay. So, to solve the next question, um, it says if log 10 raised to power, uh, 10 to it's equal to this, and log 10 to y it's this, find correct to the nearest whole number, the value of y. So, all I just need to do is put log, um, this is 10, um, okay? So, I think I can just do log 2, um, this is raised to power. I'll put alpha x 
and I'll shift it and I'll close my bracket. So I'm using um, instead of using Y, I'm using X. Okay, so that's for this. Whenever you're solving with your calculator, always use your X. So I'll press my alpha, I'll press my equal to and 1.806. Now you don't need to press this equal to, you press your shift and your solve. Now remember, this was the initial value for X for the last figure. So I'll say solve. So now it has solved it and my X is what? 5.999940. And what did the question say you should do? Find correct to the nearest whole number. Now, to the nearest whole number, approximating dates, our final answer is going to be 6. So, here, yeah, I'm going to mark 6. Now, to evaluate the last one, okay? Now, to evaluate this last equation, all you need to do is... Um, now, notice this is in the form of A over B. So, the first thing I'll do is to bring in my numerator and my denominator so i'll put my log okay this would be roots um two four three uh, close my bracket and um shift my arrow out okay um i think i didn't get this correct so i'll shift my arrow out first then close my bracket okay so um then at this point i'll put my minus sign and then i'll put my log again i'll put my roots 27 and uh, i'll shift my arrow out and close my bracket then i'll press my down key so i can now type my log 81. so once you understand it solving logarithm becomes an easy stuff now I'll press equal to now it tells me that my final answer it's one over four now if you are to solve all these questions it's going to take you a whole lot of time but once you understand the calculator concept then it becomes easy now um please don't forget to hit subscribe um the, the subscribe button because we are going to be releasing um, another set of how to solve maths with the calculator on um trigonometry on statistics and on indices so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned